Good morning and welcome. This is Mrs. Rowe and this is part of our biology class at home series. Today we are going to be looking at our egg osmosis lab and we are going to be looking at how our animal cell responds to changes in solution concentrations in its environment. This lab is going to be used more specifically to be adding more vocab as we are going through um, understanding how materials can be transported in and out of cells. So yesterday you looked at your vegetable slices. Here's our egg. I'm going to start to open this. And you looked at, remember, plant cells have a cell wall. And what happened when you put them in salt? They lost mass. They became more wilty. They lost turgor pressure. And then you saw in the uh, um, part two of your lab that something called plasmolysis was happening where the cell membrane was pulling away from the cell wall because they are plant cells. So today we're going to use an animal cell, which will be a little bit different. And to start, I have the egg that's been soaking in vinegar for a couple of days. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just get rid of that extra vinegar. I recommend you do this under this in the sink. I, For the sake of recording, I am trying to do this without a sink. Okay, so there's my egg. And you can see once I get the egg out of the vinegar, it feels a bit slimy because it has this coating on the top that still needs to get rinsed off. But the shell is gone. It feels rubbery. It feels like a bouncy ball. Um, don't try bouncing it. It will break. It is a raw egg. So the next thing, once you've poured it into your hand in the sink, you also want to rinse your jar off. I've got a new jar ready to go, but you want to get your jar rinsed. You only need to use one. And the next step is going to be to just kind of gently rub and get that extra outer coating off, okay? Um, this is actually egg number two that I'm using. The first egg did not have as much coating and it cleaned very quickly. I can feel that this one has a lot more um, of this white coating on it. So this one will take a little bit more work the other one had about an extra 10 hours of soak time, so that really did make a difference. That's why we wanted to soak it for two days. The longer you soak it, the better. Now, for the sake of timers, my last video timed out on me, so I'm not going to worry about getting this one perfectly clean. I just want to keep it going. But once you, can see, once you take it off, can you see? The other egg was a bit cleaner. It was easier to see. It's not completely opaque. You can see a little bit into the egg. If you had a flashlight nearby, you could flat, you could get some light to go through it. And if your egg is clear enough, I can see I did not rotate mine enough. That's why I've got a little bit of shell on one side. That was the side up. It wasn't in submerged in the vinegar as much. So that don't force it. If I were to force that, I could actually cause this to pop. Um, in my other cell, I could see or my other egg, I could see the um, egg yolk inside of it. Not as clear in this one. Um, maybe if I can attach a piece of video from that, I will. So first thing I want to do, once I've got it cleaned off, got my little bouncy ball, and I'm being very gentle with it, is I'm going to get the mass, because I happen to have brought a balance home from school. The one thing I thought of, you don't have a balance, so you're simply going to use my masses. So my station here is not exactly um, level, so I'm going to use this paper towel to keep it from rolling off, and I'm going to zero it out so that the paper towel mass is not part of our mass. And the mass of this egg, I know at this angle you can't see the balance, but it's coming out to 78.8. .8. So in your lab notebooks, I have, hope you have your lab notebooks out and ready. You can always hit pause if you need to. The starting mass for our eggs are going to be 78.8 .8 grams. Okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to gently put it into our clean jar. I just happen to have a second jar ready, but you would just rinse out your other jar. And we're going to add some syrup. Now, I've tried using, this is egg number two, I tried using chocolate syrup for one. I'm a little disappointed with how dark and heavy it is, so I'm going to try maple syrup for this one. And we're simply going to pour the syrup on top of the egg. I suggest you use something cheaper than maple syrup because maple syrup is pretty expensive, but it's what I have. And I'm going to pour that on top of the egg, and the egg will float a little bit. You can see my egg is floating. Um, so it's going to be important to, throughout the day, 
just like you saw that part of my egg was, I didn't mix this one enough, so part of my egg still had a little bit of shell on it because of it, the way it floated in the vinegar. So make sure if it's you come around through the day and try to give it a little swirl, okay? You're never gonna get it completely covered with syrup because of the floating. And then you're just gonna set that aside till tomorrow. Now, what are we looking for? We're looking for how is the water going to flow? Um, is the syrup going to go into the egg? cells need sugar it makes sense will it let the sugar in or is the egg going to lose mass is it going to lose water kind of like the vegetable slices and become a little more wilty and floppy um, so which way do you think the water is going to go I would like you to make that prediction in your notebook is the egg going to gain mass is it going to go lose mass or is it going to stay the same and show no change at all do you think it'll have no effect on it Okay, so write down your prediction. Be on the lookout. I'm going to make a little screencast later for the vocab to explain why the water's moving the way it is. And then tomorrow we'll be back to look at the egg, um, what happened to the mass. And then we're going to soak it in water. And on Saturday we'll get a final mass. Okay. Um, hope everyone's eggs are going well. I hope everyone's doing this with me. It is really fun to feel the egg and play with it. And yes, you can pop it at the end, but don't pop it yet. Wait, it is fun to pop it. Um, but wait till the final day and make sure that you do it in the sink so that you can contain your mess. Have a good day, everybody. Until next time.